What's up guys? My name is Andre. And I'm E-House. And you're watching Speedson. And today we have something very special for you. Uh, during our live chat and some couple comments here and there, we're wondering what is a good budget loadout. Today, more or less, actually, more or less Speedsoft, but I thought it'd be appropriate if we do both a Milsim and a Speedsoft loadout in one video so you get a good idea of what you want to do. So today that's what we're going to do, and our budget is $300. Yep, just that's, about the same price as the Nintendo Switch right, so that Andre is hyped for. <laughs> so hyped, so excited, but enough about that. Alright, so today, like I said, it's $300 budget, and we're going to go into River City's Pro Shop, and we're going to go pick out some, a bunch of stuff for $300 to make you a budget loader, and you can see what we come up with. All right, so we're on here on the selfie cam. You get to see my beautiful face right now while we go through the River City Pro Shop, as you can see. And we're going to pick up some really cool dope stuff. Oh, there's Eric. Check that out. Look at that. Look at him. Just have yeah, reception. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. All right, where are we going to start? I think it'd be appropriate to start with the pistols because you know me, I love my pistols. So let's do that. Alright, now I've made my choice. You guys can predict yours. So I'm going to get to it. What up? I'm on the uh, E-House selfie cam right now. And I'm starting off with a rifle for my uh, Milsim budget loadout because obviously rifles rule the Milsim field. And one of the ones that I think is one of the best budget guns ever is the combat machine. So I'm gonna grab that, the battery and charger package, and we're gonna start off with that as our first piece of our $300 budget Milsim loadout. Now for the purpose of this loadout, uh, the most iconic uh, the most iconic mask for the Speedsoft loadout is in Die I4 or I5 if you have one of those. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go with a Valken MI3. It works for what we're going to do here for the video, or for the purpose of this video, it works. So that's what I'm going to go with. So obviously, when you are building any kind of loadout for any kind of airsoft situation, the next thing you need is eye protection. A uh, gun is important, you need a gun to play, well, depending on the game, you need a gun to play, but you need, need, need eye protection. Now, for my budget kit, and assuming this is going to a Milsim game where full face protection is not required if you're over 18, you can kind of get away with uh, going a little cheaper on the eye protection as long as it's ANSI rated. So for that, I am going for these Valken Echo Goggles. Now for $20, they are still ANSI rated and full seal and they've got an elastic band around your head to retain them so they will still meet the requirements for most any type of local Milsim game. Now to move on to some little bit of extra mag and some tactical gear. So let's get on to that right now. All right, I was grabbed an extended mag for the High Kappa, as you guys know. So I'm gonna, like I said, I grabbed the extended High Kappa mag. All right, so we got our mask, we got our extra mag, and we got our gun. Now we're at the 218, so now we're gonna head over to the tactical gear apparel wall, and I'm gonna pick out a couple things, just something to make your uh, make the life a little bit easier on the airsoft playing field. All right, so next, uh, one of the big things of a lot of Milsim games is you are required to use mid-capacity magazines. This is actually gonna eat up a fair bit of our budget, but it's kind of necessary. So for this, I am grabbing a box of these G&G Armament mid-capacity magazines. These will fit and feed with the combat machine and they will allow us to be in compliance with any magazine limitations that are in place at most local Milsim games. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a battle belt and perhaps a one or two pouches and a dub pouch and that should be relatively it. And then the last thing that I'm going with for my budget Milsim loadout is actually going to be a tactical vest or plate carrier chest rig of some description. In this case, because of what they had in stock and what'll work, I'm going with this DEFCON JPC. Now, you know me, I'm a gear whore. I love my high dollar gear items, but if you're walking into a pro shop and you're looking for just any type of tactical gear that'll work and you've got a budget, then this type of stuff is probably what you'll find and this will work for getting you started out. All right guys, now one thing that we forgot to mention is we're doing this to each other. 
And here you have Eric, the speed softer. So from top to bottom, we have a Valken MI3 full face mask. Now the reason why I chose a full face mask is very obvious. Uh, a lot of indoor places require you to have a full face mask, and most, uh, generally a lot of other places do. So this just covers his ears, his chin, and his full face, and it's NC rated, so he's right to go to any field that he chooses. Now in his hand, he has a Armor Works high cap of pistol. The reason why I chose the Armor Works is the fact that it's cheap, and it has the IPSC or race gun style pistol, and it works for what we're trying to do here. It's very budget friendly, and it looks cool on top of that. Now moving down to his waist, he has a Condor ba battle belt in size large. Also the inner belt, and along with that, turn around, I put a dump pouch. So I also gave him an extended mag because the included 32 round, 30 round mag was, it's not gonna be enough for a one day's play. So I did give him an extended 50 round magazine so he can be a little bit more compatible on the field or competitive on the field. Now moving along, I did give him a HSGI extended pistol pouch so he can carry that extended mag in it without having the worries of falling it out. And the rest of his loadout is not including the price, but it felt appropriate that I would give him or told him to wear something that would match this loadout. So there we have it. There is your Speedsoft loadout. This in total cost, I went a little bit over budget by $2. This entire loadout costs $302. All right, so we just did uh, the Speedsoft loadout that Andre picked out for me. So now let's bring in the Milsim loadout that I picked out for Andre. So as you can see here, uh, we've got Andre with the Valken Echo goggles on his face. Uh, these will meet the requirements for many type of Milsim fields, more casual Milsim games. Uh, most of those do not require full face protection if you are over 18. So we've just got those and those will do nicely for just, they work, they're budget friendly, and they, for the purposes of what we're doing here, they're perfect. Then we've got the combat machine. Uh, fun fact, I actually attended my first ever Milsim game with a combat machine. And I actually was pretty competitive the entire game because at the end of the day, it's about your skill set, not just your gear set. So this combat machine will actually do it. And it came with a battery and charger. So between this and the battery and charger combination for the combat machine, that put us at $198. Then we've got for $65, the DEF CON JPC plate carrier. You know, may not be my favorite plate carrier, but again, for the purposes of what we're doing here, this will work because it allows him to carry those three extra mid-capacity magazines right on his chest. The DEF COM plate carrier was $65, which puts us at $263. Then we got the five bo the box of five G&G &G mid-capacity magazines. He's got three on his chest, one in the gun, and one in a pocket. And that actually put us at just about $315. So I went about $15 over budget, unfortunately. Uh, now you can find these items on sale or you know used in some cases. And in this case, we just I just had Andre put on a set of surplus BDUs because if your field has uniform requirements, then you can often find surplus BDUs or you just wear solid color clothing that matches. So we didn't include that in the budget. Uh, but if you wanna go out and just meet the bare minimum requirements for a local Milsim operation, this will probably do you nicely. And you know, if you get really into it and you start deciding that, hey, you know, I wanna start going to bigger and bigger games, then this gives you room to expand upon. You have plenty of Molly real estate on this JPC to run it until it dies. Uh, this combat machine is a great upgrade platform. You can do a ton to these. And then the goggles, I mean, they're $20 goggles, run them, run them hard, and then they probably won't because they're ANSI rated. I hope they don't break. <laughs> um, and yeah, this gives you plenty of room to expand and get more into the game. But if you just want to go out and play, this will get you out there. All right, so to close it up, these are our budget-friendly loadouts, obviously with the Speedsoft one and the Milsim loadout here. Now, this can be adjusted in any variety of different ways. It's just what we came up with for the purpose of this video to get you out and playing and be competitive on the airsoft field if you only have $300 of um, 
Look, you only have a $300 budget. So let's face it, what's more fun? Going out and buying a video game console? Going out and shooting your friends with BB guns? Well, airsoft guns, not... Not BB uh, guns. Yes. <laughs> Important difference, but... Uh, so the point is, you know, just even with what we had on hand at a local pro shop, we were able to go get plenty of stuff to go out and play and be competitive, and yeah, you can do that too. So hopefully this video helps you out, and uh, we are going to try to do some more budget-friendly reviews in the future, so stay tuned. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Speed Sim. Again, my name is Andre. And I'm E-House. And we'll catch you later in the next one. Peace. So stay tuned. Not like you have a choice. I mean, unless you, you already, exit out. Yeah, you already clicked on the video, so you, you might as well. You're stay stuck here. now. Yeah, now, now you're committed. Now you're on Speed I mean, you Island. could you could hit that X button. You could also click unsubscribe. That'd probably be for the best. And you, but you won't, because you're our slave. And we own you. What? You can't get off Speed on the Island. You're stuck here. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Yes. <laughs> All right, so to close it out, these are our budget, uh, budget, budget, budget. <laughs> budget. <laughs> to close it out, this is what we do with our budget. Every now and then, sometimes you don't got the yeah. money that you want to spend, so you got to get a little more budget friendly. Just like I get down some friendly with my cousin. Going and fucking my cousin. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> fucking shit. What? <laughs> yes. Unnecessary. You're unnecessary. <laughs> That's just true. You can do this by yourself. Aww. I'm playing. Aww, I'm playing. I love you, Andre. <laughs> <laughs>